When you install PX Backup, you'll be presented with the PX Central screen without any clusters. To add a cluster, click on the Add Cluster button. Give your cluster a name. And add a cube config. You can either copy and paste or upload a file. Here we're running an on-prem cluster, so we select Other. We also are running Portworks, so we give it the Portworks endpoint. The Portworks endpoint is optional. Your Kubernetes cluster will appear as a tile in the PX Central dashboard. You'll be able to do a bunch of things with this, such as get the metrics, use the license server, and others. Uh, check out our PX Central documentation for more on that. For backup, click on the backup button and you'll be presented with an applications view. Here you can select what applications or namespaces you want to back up. Here we're going to select all of them and click on Cassandra and nothing's configured yet. So we can't select the backup location. So let's go ahead and do that. Go to settings in the main screen and click on cloud settings. We'll need a cloud account and a backup location. The first thing we'll do is create our cloud account Give your account a name and provide the access credentials. Next, create a backup location, which will reference one of your cloud accounts. Here, we're going to give it a name, select the backup account that we just created, give a bucket path. This can exist already. An encryption key is optional if you want extra security. The endpoint for the bucket is needed. In this case, it's S3 at Amazon. And the region is US East 1. Go ahead and create that. Now we have what we need to back up our applications or namespaces. But there's a few other things we might want to do first. One of these is a schedule. So if you plan on backing up things on a cadence, Go ahead and create a schedule. Here we're going to create one for once a day. We're going to select 1 a.m. And we're going to keep five of the latest backups. And you'll be able to reference this when we go to backup application again. So now let's go back to our backup screen and applications. Get the application we were working with before, which is Cassandra. And select the tag to back up just that Cassandra tag. Now we can configure our backup with the information we've just configured for VX backup, such as the backup location and a schedule. One thing we didn't configure yet is pre-exec rules and post-exec rules, something that might be interesting. So let's go ahead and check out how to create a pre-exec rule. For Cassandra, this might be really useful, such that you can execute commands like node tool or Cassandra. And one of the things you might want to do with a pre-exec rule is run a node tool flush command to flush data to disk. So we'll go ahead and create one as an example called Cassandra flush. And in this case, we're going to reference the tag of our application we were just using. and provide the command that needs to run before the backup and whether it needs to be run in the background or in a single pod. In this case, we'll just run it on all of them. Now we have a backup rule. So this is how to configure the necessary pieces to use Portworx backup. I hope that gives you an understanding of how to use PX backup and configure it.